All right, so real quick, I wanted to go over your assignments here. So we are in unit three. Only two things due this week, discussion question and your learning activity, your lab. With the discussion question, uh, you're gonna just pick a specific motor mi milestone to address and you are going to essentially just explain what it is. And then you wanna create two to three activities to help with developing that motor milestone. So that's one of the things we'll be covering this week is early motor development. So we'll get into that. Uh, graded everyone's discussion questions and, uh, from last week and everything was really good. The only thing I still see a little bit of a problem with is that some of you are kind of still only doing one response. So you wanna make sure that you are completing both your initial post and the follow-up response. All right, and then the learning activity. So how many of you have opened your book? <laughs> I have. All right, that's great. Better than most classes. Um, have you all, or do you all know where to access the web study guide? No. Okay. And just so you know, I'm not looking away from you. I'm just looking at my second screen. Okay. So when you go to your textbook, you should have a, um, a key code that's in there. If you have the physical copy, it should be right on the inside corner or the inside cover. If you got a uh, an e-copy that should be straight in the email you had or the whatever email you got to download the book. Yeah, and that looks to be it there. What you're gonna be doing is you'll go to humankinetics.com and you wanna make sure that you're not on their main page, which I believe is humankinetics.us. So make sure again, it's humankinetics.com. And then you would want to sign into your account. Uh, if you don't have an account, uh, you'll just have to create one. But all you would want to do is go to enter a key code after you sign in. So after you enter your key code, from there, it'll give you your courses. You'd wanna go to my courses. And for all you, it'll show up, the class should show up here. If it doesn't, click on my ancillaries. Um, for me, that's where that shows up. But then again, I am the instructor, so I can't guarantee that'll be there for you. And you wanna to go to the web study guide here and view web study guide. And that'll get you to this. And that's what you need for the assignments here. What you're gonna do, it says access web study guide and complete the online components to chapter four. You will complete all three activities. Okay, so go to chapter four, you click on chapter four, this will pop up and you have three lab activities. What you wanna make sure you do is click on the introduction and instructions and that'll take you to this page. And all you're gonna do is you're going to complete everything under the instruction section. 
so what you will need to turn in for each of the labs is you need to turn in the record sheet here. So the record sheet will look like this. So if it doesn't say record sheet for lab activity, you do not turn it in. So the lab questions, notice how that says questions for lab. Don't worry about doing that, okay? So you're only turning in the record sheet. Now, granted you have three of these to do, but if you read over them, what it's saying for you to do is to watch the video clips of the infants, and then you are going to answer a couple questions about them. How you get to the video clips, very simple. From whichever activity you do, you scroll down to where it says next, you hit next, and then it will show you your video clips. For lab 4.2, make sure you are reading step one carefully because you have four video clips to choose from here. Okay, and you're only to pick one of these. So you select one of these clips. Okay, so don't do all four. Make sure you only do one of them. So that's just for number two. For one and three, you have to make sure you do all of them. But again, you are only turning in the record sheets. Okay, so don't worry about doing the lab questions. Any questions on that? So again, it's go to humankinetics.com. You will sign in from there. You will enter a key code. Once you enter your key code, you will go to either my courses or my ancillaries but whichever one that'll show you that lifespan motor development, you'll click on that. And then you go to the web study guide. That's the one you wanna to go to, the web study guide. That'll take you to this page. You click on chapter four. That'll take you to this page. And then you will do each of the lab activities here. You're again, only going to be doing the record sheet. So only do the record sheet, the instructions, are going to pop up for an, in a new window for a new tab for you. And to get to the videos you need, make sure you scroll down and hit that next button. That'll show you all the videos you need. So hopefully that explains that for you there. So we just answered the questions on the instructions, instructions page and then um, recorded on the recording sheet? Yeah, so that you're only gonna be turning in the record sheets. So you should have three of those. So you have one for each lab activity. So there's no real, like, like the instructions you have on the, on the website are just telling you how to fill these out. So these are the only things you're turning in. Okay.